Okay, next one, when you go into the lab, we have to be very careful about this lab safety. Okay, so never taste any chemicals. And then we always wear goggles when you are going to heat something or when you're going to use the chemicals, wear goggles. If there's any spillage or you break anything, inform the teacher. Okay, some of the chemicals you are going to use will have these symbols and these symbols, we have to memorize them. Okay, so this first one is explosive. Second one is corrosive. So substances that will corrode your hand, you can see is burning. Okay, examples are your acids. Okay, radioactive, this one emits radiation. So this symbol over here, like a fan like that. Flammable, anything that can catch fire very easily, you see a flame. And then all your alcohol will catch fire very easily. So ethanol, don't go and burn it. Okay, you will catch fire. Biohazardous, this one is of biological nature and is poisonous. So medical waste, like microorganisms, these are all biohazardous. Okay, irritant, this one produces vapors that will irritate the eye. So sometimes, you know, if you see some smoke and then your eyes start to tear, right? This is an irritant. Okay, toxic, this is harmful substances in small doses. Good to know your cyanide, mercury, these are all toxic and then you can see a scalp. Okay, these are all the symbols that you will see on the chemicals or in the lab. And then these is the apparatus that you are going to use moving forward a lot in the lab. And we have to learn how to draw them. So the test tube, test tube, what is it for? Is to contain or heat small amount of solid and liquid. Okay, this is your test tube. Okay, a beaker contains or heat and mix the chemical. So beaker can also mix the chemicals. Conical flask, this one is to mix liquids such as acids and alkali. Okay, the big difference between your beaker and your conical flask, right, is that this conical flask, the mouth, mouth is very small. So when I say the mouth is very small, meaning to say the opening, this opening is very small so that the chemicals doesn't spill out very easily. So it's more safe. It's safer to heat your acid or to mix your acids and alkali. Okay, round bottom flask. This one is used to prepare gases when heating is required. If I want to heat something that has a gas, use your round bottom flask. Flat bottom flask, this one, used to prepare gas when I don't need heating, don't need heating, use the flat bottom. Okay, measuring cylinder. This one is to measure certain volumes of the liquid. Okay, moving forward, right, I never use the beaker to measure volume of liquid. It's not accurate. Use your measuring cylinder or the burette or the pipette. Okay, measuring cylinder is not as accurate as the burette and the pipette, right? So if you want, use the burette. Burette is this long equipment over here. And this accuracy is up to 0.1. So I can measure 53.7, 53.75. Very accurate up to two decimal place. Okay, pipette, this one delivers exact volume. So exact volume. Exact volume, especially in multiples of 5, 10.0, 25.0, use the pipette. Okay, these two, these two apparatus, you are going to use it a little bit more in upper set. Okay, retort stand, this is the long stand that actually clamp the apparatus in. So this whole thing uh, is a retort stand. Okay, condenser, this one in separation technique, simple distillation, you will see it. Okay, this one is to for, for vapor for gases to condense back to liquid. Okay, filter funnel, this is your filter funnel, and then usually I will add in the filter paper over here. Okay, this one is for filtration, same thing, separation technique, we will use it. And then this is your light bulb. So this is the drawing for your light, not light bulb, sorry, this is your thermometer, and this is the drawing for your thermometer. Okay, this one is a mechanical thermometer. When I put this one inside, there will be a value that is red given up how what is the temperature of this substance that I'm trying to measure. Okay, I have a watch glass or evaporating dish, right? Usually the drawing is like this. This one is for you to hold solids that's being weighed, okay, or to evaporate a liquid. And then this is your tripod stand. Usually my Bunsen burner, I will put it here, okay? And then on the top, I have to put in the wire gauze. So this is my wire gauze. Okay, and then a gas string, this is to collect and to measure the gas being produced.
Okay, reading volumes of your liquid, always read the bottom meniscus. Okay, and then it must be in line with the bottom meniscus. If you read it from here, if you read it from here, all these are all parallax error. Okay, if you look at your bulb thermometer, liquid in the bulb thermometer, huh? the liquid is actually like that. So same thing, read it from the top meniscus. Okay, read it in line, top meniscus.